How many hours to Nam the Aziki will wear it? Wear it? This yeah. flight is for Abuja. Her eloquence and beauty can never be overlooked. That's why even after several years, Nse Ikpe Etim still remains a favorite in the film industry. A graduate of Theatre Administration of University of Calabar has described herself as an adult student of Stanislavski. She is the first of six children and was actively involved in sports and social activities during her school days. She had her television break at age of 18 when she anchored a show on Nigerian Television Authority, NTA. Inse also went into the pageant world and won several crowns. The beautiful actress also dabbled in other fields like banking, a fashion store in Abuja, radio and television and finally came back to acting. It's good to have you on the show. I'm, I'm loving your ring. Scary <laughs> though. <laughs> What's that? What's that? I don't know. I just thought it was an intriguing ring and I bought it. Fine. A bull's head. Uh, yeah. Oh, well, it looks a ram or something. Bullish and scary and I don't but know. But I'm not like that. But I like, I just like IT stuff and I thought it was interesting. You know, you just put someone in the face with it. Not with my left hand, maybe my right. Oh, you can never tell your left hand to be the best. <laughs> True, you want us to try. Ready, babe. I don't hate girls, but we can act. Because I don't do act, right? <laughs> Alright, let me see. Honestly, you know, when I heard you had a background in broadcasting, it was very impressive. I was shocked. You know, you've done rhythm, you've done radio, you went, you know, it was very impressive to hear that. Why'd you have that look? You've done very well. Oh, <laughs> you, you, you know you asked me that question before we kicked off. You were like, um, okay, let's kick off. Okay, so good, brilliant. So you're shocked. Yes, I am. I know. This is a line of conversation. Where's my work? I work so over TV. <laughs> Come on. Okay, tell me about back in the days when you were ready. Um, it was... I think it was just being able to do stuff without getting seen. So, and there's something about being able to do stuff and no one knows who's behind. So yeah, I had some, some radio program that was syndicated to all of the stations. It was fun, but I, I've always wanted more. I wasn't so sure what I really wanted. I was always in search of self. And maybe I found me now, I think, but then I lose me again when I go into character for other people. I guess I'm still looking for me. Really? Yes. Do you think you want to go back to radio? Broadcasting? Let's not just say radio, you broadcasting itself. Good television. I, 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 it's a very interesting, interesting line of work. Um, I'll never say never. Oh, so it comes calling with a good check, maybe. Yeah, the good check sounds good, yes. I will take it. Reloaded, which can be described as her comeback after a decade. The silent invasion of Inse is what earned her a nomination in the 2009 AMA, where she was nominated for the best actress in a leading role in the movie Reloaded. She also starred in multi-award winning film Phone Swap. But her love life still remains a mystery and many believe Inse may have been in and out of relationships that never led to a life of matrimony. For as long as I'm loving my career, yes. If you love your career for the next three decades, what happens? I'll be dead, trust me. <laughs> so if, if, if that's the situation... I'm saying I'll be dead. No guy? No guy what? All the way? If I'm not ready, is, I'm not ready, I'm not ready, I'm not ready for a serious relationship at all. I'm not ready for anything, really. I just, I think I'm, I'm loving my career right now. I'm not ready for that. But when I am ready, I'll open up the doors. How... Are the guys supposed to know when you're ready? Is it like a signal? Are you supposed to put it out there? I put a flashcard out. <laughs> this is ready. <laughs> because right now, you know, the picture is she's not ready. So how are you supposed to know when you're ready? It's just like when you say, how does a man know when he sees his wife? He knows. Oh. They'll know. They'll know. Mm. Oh, you said that. <laughs> I'm going to take your word. Because you never could tell. I could be on the list. You never could tell. I'll hit on you first. Hmm. Um. For a girl to hit, well, I'll see you have, you know, all the potentials to do it, considering the fact that you have an acting background. Very really? Experience, yes. Looking at you, how do you get your roles? Do you get phone calls? People say, you know, sometimes getting roles in film industry is hard, especially for the women. You have to conform into all kinds of funny things. How do you get your roles? 
Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Um, Very true, man. I well. have not been opportune to see that part. <laughs> really? So it's been rosy for you? Uh, if oh, you really? want to call it rosy. Can yeah. you tell us how's uh, it been for you? you know, it's it's just been basically, I get a call or I get an email or I get a script. So I read the script first. I like it. I get back. Um, most times I, I tell my management team, I'm like, okay, I like that script. So they take it from there. That's how it works. But it starts from the script. I have to like the script. And for me, it's not about if I'm the lead character or I'm playing a f just maybe three scenes or two scenes. How does it connect to the story? What does the character do? How challenging is it for me as an actor? So those are the things I look at. And when I find that, I take it on. And would you, you know, let's say, uh, loads of other young girls, you know, girls who want to get yeah. into acting, mm -hmm. how would you advise them in terms of, you know, being able to be um, professional and not having to, what, what rules would you lay down for them and say, this principles can work for you, for it doesn't work for you? What I say normally is that I would not wish my enemy to be an actor. They, it's such a hard life in the first place. And if you think you're going to be an actor because you've seen the glitz and the glam, you think there's money in it, you're wasting your time. If you think you're in it because you want to run away from your low self-esteem, honey, look for a psychiatrist, look for a doctor. It's not going to work in the movie industry. It's not a place where you think because people don't like me here, they're going to like me here. I don't think it's impressive when you tell someone, oh, I'm an actor. Uh -uh. It doesn't sound the way it does. Sometimes I don't say it. I hardly say who I am. And it's nice when I don't get recognized if you're looking, no, seriously. So if, I would tell, always tell a younger person that if you're looking for these things, please go somewhere else, not in the film industry. But if you do know that you're in it because either or you would have been an actor, then that's it. Then you are ready to be an actor. Then it is for you. But if there's a choice for you not to be anything else, or for you to be something else rather than an actor, please pick that thing. It will it'll, it'll work for you better. Inse can be described as a passionate writer whose dialogues are apt and filled with humor. In her spare time, she's passionate about cooking. I used to cook. I used to cater. I love cooking a lot. So. You say you cook the chef. How interesting. What are you cooking? Anything. anything. I cook anything, yeah. What's your special thing? Is this something? I'm not one who likes anything that's this. I don't do, I'm not... I don't love anything in particular to say, oh, I'm going to do this. But yes, I will cook a store many days. You cook for people, you cook for yourself, you just cook and cook for yourself. I cook for people and get paid for it. Yep. So you want to, uh, you think you want to bring that down here and bring us kind of like one kitchen service where you just cook? Yes, and we are planning on it and we do hope we can do it this year. It's, uh, it's in the works. It's in the works. Just be in the kitchen and just do all sorts of stuff. It's a form of art. <laughs> you should be watching the film network, I'm sure you do. Um, TV is hard. Well, I like to sleep. <laughs> I try to watch TV and then halfway through, <laughs> yeah, I fall asleep. Okay, with this sleeping um, I'm not fat. character of yours, <laughs> right? <laughs> How do you cope when you're on set? I'm working. So I, my sleep is nights. Okay. Work. And then I try to wake up when I'm not working. And the directors and producers, they all understand at that point. You're a different person. What would you stay And I'm not in set. So I'll stay on. I'll do everything. And when I'm better in set, it's a potato slack. So you officially say sleep is a major part of your life. Yes, and I love it. I'm oh, not ashamed. Goodness. Sleep, food, yes. I love this. How many hours would you give to sleep? At night, I do. Okay, maybe sometimes I sleep at 1 o'clock or 2. What keeps you till 1? I'm reading. What are you reading? <laughs> Maybe any book, anything I find. I like to read stuff. I like to read, I like to learn new stuff. Um, sometimes I'm doodling. Some say it's writing. 
Yeah. Her precise interpretation of her different roles has kept her on a different pedestal. The amazing and versatile actor takes her time to internalize her role and become her character. The actress says her ambition is to make it to Hollywood. So every time I read a book, I find a new character I'd like to play. Now, I'd like to be a sociopath. Now, what would you want to be remembered for? I'd want to be remembered for the fact that, uh, well, remembered by all four things. Just living life easy, man. <laughs> Nothing crazy. That's it. That's it. I thought you were going to say cooking. Stuffing your turkey. Cooking. In the oven. Isn't that normal? Cooking. Someone who just lived an easy go life. Yes. For every day, there was something to remember. Either her smile, the steps she made, um, the life she did touch, the smile she put on people's faces. Yeah. That's an easy going line. She put the smile on people's face and make her smile. She just yanked it out and put it on their faces. <laughs> it's insane. It was nice having you on the show. Thank you very, very, very much. Thank you. All right.